Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew, coming to you from the beautiful Carolinas. Today's topic is going to be, is someone getting the best of you? Think about that for a minute. Guys, if you like the content, please subscribe. So think about the thumbnail. Is someone getting the best of you? What does that mean? It means in the relationship you are thinking about right now, is the other individual, are they getting what makes you you? Are they getting the best of you? Are they getting your abundance and your beauty and your positive energy? Are they using you as a sounding board? Are they manipulating you? Are they saying one thing and doing something completely different? In other words, are their actions matching up with their words? Understand that when someone's getting the best of you, many times you may not see it that way. You may think that the individual you are thinking about needs help or they had a tough childhood or a tough upbringing or no one really supports them, so you'll do it. In other words, you could be a people pleaser. You may be a yes person. Maybe you don't know how to say no, which is the strongest word in the English language. And remember, when you say no to something or someone, you are saying yes to yourself. Understand that message. But when someone's getting the best of you, many times they know that they're getting the best of you i.e. a narcissistic relationship. Let's think about it for a minute. When you're in a narcissistic relationship, what is the narcissist getting from you? They're getting all of your resources. They're getting your status, your social circle, your health, your time, money, love, energy, empathy, your life, your future. They're getting that and they, they are actually getting the best of you. And when I say that, I don't say it lightly. I mean, the narcissist, remember, they know what they are doing to individuals. They can see beauty and brilliance, <clears throat> excuse me, brilliance within an individual very quickly. Why? Because these are the sources that they utilize. These are the sources that they take from to get from point A to point B. Keep all of these things in mind. The narcissistic relationship, it is built on quicksand. There is no substance to it. There is no foundation to it. What it is, it's an individual, which is the narcissist, taking and you, the person watching the video, giving. Now, many times you're giving the best of you. Think about it. You're giving all you have in these relationships to a person who all they want to do is take from you, but they don't want to give back. That's why, remember, when you're in a narcissistic relationship and you've identified that that's what it is, you need to really understand if you want to maintain that relationship or if you should perhaps remove yourself from it. I know many times family members turn out to be narcissists and that is a difficult pill to swallow. Well, the truth of the matter is if they are and you can't necessarily get away from them, what you can do is you can utilize gray rock, which is when you just become boring. You don't share as much information about you, your whereabouts, what you're thinking, your hair color, who you're spending time with, etc. <clears throat> Certainly nothing about finances. You shouldn't be doing that. Why? Because one of the things the narcissist loves more than anything is money. And what do they love money more than money? They love your money more than money. Understand what I'm trying to explain to you. But getting back on track, if, are, is someone getting the best of you? In these narcissistic relationships, until you get the wisdom, the narcissist is virtually always getting the best of you. That is on purpose. It's, it's by design. It's how the narcissist goes about their life. They take, they consume, they destroy, they throw away, wash, rinse, repeat. That's what they do. And people that are on the channel, on my channel, many of us are empaths and we did go through the narcissistic abusive cycle and or we are exiting it right now. We didn't have the wisdom back then. So yes, was someone getting the best of us? 100%. Did we know it at the time? Probably. But did we know that we were up against a narcissist? Absolutely not. Keep this in mind again. I mentioned this on the video frequently, on the channel frequently. If you knew way back then that you were gonna enter a relationship with a toxic individual, i.e. a narcissist who was gonna do what they did to you, would you have proceeded with the relationship? You wouldn't have. I can assure you, you wouldn't have. Because who would want to be in a one-way relationship? A relationship built on untruths, partial truths, no truths, manipulation, lies, deceit, destruction, etc. Nobody would want that. The truth of the matter is, you would have run for the hills, or you would have certainly said, Thank you, but I'm not gonna enter this relationship. Now, when someone's getting the best of you and you know it, and you now know that the person you're thinking about is a toxic narcissist or individual, 
that's when you need to remove yourself from the relationship. And the person that should be getting the, getting the best from you, it's yourself. That's a fact. Now, post-narcissistic relationship, many times people have to heal. They have to put themselves back together. They have to take time to introspect, <clears throat> excuse me, to understand exactly what kind of relationship they were in. And that yes, in fact, there are a lot of people on the planet that don't have your best interest at heart, specifically the narcissist. Now, when you do that, that's when you really start to understand your value, your worth, and that you don't want anybody ever to get the best of you unless, that's right, unless you're getting the best of them. In other words, you now are entering a stable and or healthier relationship, which is reciprocal. It benefits both parties. There's give and take, ebb and flow. That's beautiful. When you're in a relationship where you find that all you're doing is giving and giving and giving and being questioned and you're doubting yourself and you're becoming an extension of the other individual, which is the narcissist, and your resources are being depleted, you're not getting sleep, you have physical ailments, you're losing your social circle, you can't perform at, jo at your job that well anymore, you don't have the drive that you used to have. Why? Because this person, the narcissist, is consuming your energy, everything about you. Remember, when you're in the narcissistic relationship, many times you can do no good. Meaning, whatever you do, if you, if you, if you say left, the narcissist is gonna say right. If you say up, they're gonna say down. That's how these things work. It's meant to keep you walking around on eggshells, doubting yourself, not believing in yourself, you giving the best of yourself to the narcissist. And what is the narcissist doing the whole time? The whole time, they are getting supply from you, the best supply they'll ever get, and they're getting supply from other individuals who down the road will be whom? That's right, they will be your replacement. That's exactly what they're doing. They're grooming other individuals and they're fine tuning their skills of deception and deceit and manipulation with you and others to find your replacement. That's what they do. That's how the narcissist goes through life. There's no such thing as a stable relationship with a narcissist. These relationships take you super high and they drop you super low. High, low, high, low. And they take so much out of you. They really are energy vampires. But when someone's getting the best of you and you know it and you don't want that to happen any longer, you need to understand that going no contact, blocking them, removing all people in or flying monkeys associated with the narcissist, that's the path. Now, will you do this right now in one fail swoop? Of course you won't. But in time, in your time, you will get the message. You will get stronger. The further you get away from the narcissistic relationship and specifically the narcissist, the more your energy will return. And it will return with a flurry of abundance. I can promise you that it will happen. It doesn't just happen magically. And it doesn't just happen in a day or two. It takes time. The more you heal, the more you understand your value and that in fact nobody should be getting the best of you, the more things will improve for you. Now, along the healing path, remember, the narcissist may or may not try to hoover you, which means to try and draw you back into the relationship. They do this many times because they haven't found your replacement yet, or certainly not a replacement even close to you. Another reason they may do it is because they wanna test you and to see if you're strong or if, you, or if you've healed yet or where you are, meaning how, how did you get the education? Did you get the wisdom yet? Other times they will try to hoover just to see, to dip their toe into the water to see if you will bite or not. And if you take a bite of the forbidden fruit with a hoover, which means you accept a hoover, believe me, that will set you back eventually. It may not set you back today or tomorrow, but down the road it will. Because any communication with the narcissist, it's not good. Specifically once you've identified them and as a narcissist, and if you've already removed yourself from the relationship in any capacity. But when someone's getting the best of you, and you know it, it's not good. This is why the channel was created for people who did not know exactly what is going on, what's happening with them, for them to get the wisdom and share their experiences and insight with the community, to, to understand that you are not alone, that you will get through this, but that we no longer will let anybody get the best of us. We, we were a kind, loving individual uh, in the past, meaning full of empathy, beauty, abundance, perhaps looking at the world through rose-tinted glasses, who knows? Maybe we didn't know how to say no and all the things I mentioned earlier. I get it. This relationship we were a part of, it was a lifelong learning lesson. Play that again. It's exactly what it was. But now we're getting the wisdom. We're coming through the fire. We're rising through the ashes like a phoenix. We now understand our value. And no one's going to get the best of us any longer. Because why? Because we now have the education and we now have boundaries. 
We know what our value is. And the narcissist saw this in the past when we first met them. They sized us up. They researched what made us tick. They figured out how to get us to fall in love with them, perhaps. Lo and behold, you enter the devaluation stage or the narcissistic fog where you're giving to a fault and someone was getting the best of you. They were getting everything that you offered to them and more. And you kept working harder and harder trying to get back to that the beginning of that relationship or the euphoric stage. You never quite got there, did you? No, you didn't because the narcissist just wore their masks to get you entrenched in the relationship. Once they knew they had you, example, once you told them you loved them or you moved away from your support system or you went into business with them or you became dependent on them financially, whatever you want to say, uh, and that doesn't always happen, but sometimes it does, then they knew they had you. And then that's when devaluation was really ramped up and you became nothing but a, a, a uh, source of supply for them, but you became an extension of them and you became in the trance-like zombie-like state, which is the devaluation stage. So now that that's over with and the relationship is done, you understand that no one will ever get the best of you unless you want to give them the best of you and that person is gonna give you the best of them. Example, friendship. It's a reciprocal relationship. It's healthy, it's stable. You have each other's backs. You don't have to explain things. You can see in each other's eyes with just a head nod that you're on the same page. That's beautiful. Now flip the script. When you're in the narcissistic relationship, did you get any of that? Of course you didn't. You got complaints, gaslighting, stonewalling, rage fit, silent treatment, smear campaign, on and on and on. Because why? Because the narcissist wanted to beat you down. They wanted you doubting yourself and they did not want anyone other than themselves to get the best of you. These days are over. You're now giving yourself the best of you, which is why you are on the channel. You're getting the wisdom, the education. That is a good thing. So guys, get the message. Understand that no one should ever be getting the best of you. You should be giving the best of yourself to someone or anyone or people that deserve it, that respect you, that love you, that cherish you, that honor you, that know your worth, and that know, you, know that your time is valuable. So guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from the beautiful Carolinas. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great afternoon. Stay true, stay blessed. Continue to become awakened and aware. Understand that you are the priority. You come first, second, and third. And no, no one should ever be getting the best of you. They sh it shouldn't have happened in the past, but you didn't know what was going on back then. You didn't know about narcissism and you didn't know that you should have boundaries. Now you know both and you're getting the wisdom. So now you can put that chapter behind you begin to live your best life moving forward. Again, guys, no matter where you are on the planet, remember, you are not alone. God bless you. I hope you guys have a great afternoon. Stay true, stay blessed, and remember to focus on yourselves. I love you all. God bless you. And remember, you are not alone. No matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. God bless you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, bye.